So as of right now, we've been using these individual middleware methods and mounting them for um, our app to use. And instead of doing all of this, we can simply just mount a middleware called helmet by itself. And it will include all the middleware except the no cache and content security policy, which I guess we'd want to set by ourselves um, if we want to. And in addition to this, um, you can also give a configuration object inside it like this. And what you can do is you can um, enable or disable or configure other middleware individually. So for example, frame guard is enabled by default when we use helmet. So what we can do is get, say frame guard and then give this object with action to set to deny. And this will make sure that that option has been applied when running the frame guard middleware. Um, we can also ensure enable the content security policy which has been disabled by default. So we can say content security policy which enables it. And then we can give the um, options object with the directives like this as well. And finally, if we want to disable a middleware that gets enabled by default, um, Helmet enables DNS prefetching by default. And if we want to disable that, we can just say DNS prefetch control and then set this to false. So yeah, um, we've basically been using the middlewares individually for teaching purposes, but um, in realistic scenario, instead of doing all of this, which can become quite tedious, you can just use the helmet function like this and then mount that for all routes. And that will enable um, a lot of this middleware automatically. Um, in this challenge, we don't actually have to do anything. So this is just basically um, just information. So all you can do is just submit any URL in here and we can see that the test passes. And that's everything um, for this helmet. So we've done all the helmet challenges now. And next we're gonna move on to looking at and password security with bcrypt.